what is up guys thanks for checking out today's video it is germ donor here don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily content i greatly appreciate the support and without further ado let's get to today's gameplay today i have a game for you guys where me and a bunch of subscribers land at boot camp none of them make it out of alive and the great germ donor does so just stick around and enjoy. So throughout the gameplay today, I'm going to be uh, taking a moment and during certain moments in the gameplay, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks to help you kind of advance your gameplay. So if you stick around for the whole video, I'll tell you certain things that I do and explain why I'm doing them. So, quick tip number one, I don't know if you guys saw, but when I had that guy knock, you can let people like that run away, and you're going to want to use people like this as bait. So, you see how I went in there and knocked his other buddy as well. I still have not finished these guys off, and they have teammates that are around me, and I hear his teammate coming up the stairs, so I'm going to wait until he comes up the stairs, and I'm going to shoot him down like this. Uh, and this is just a tip that will help you greatly if you're playing solo versus squad scenarios where you have multiple people attacking you. You don't always have to worry about finishing them off because more than likely they're going to be on the other side bitching to their teammates, revive me, revive me, and their teammates are normally going to listen. So you're going to be able to get shots off that you normally wouldn't get if you just finish the people off. You just got to think about it from the, you know your enemy's perspective. You know, if one of them gets knocked, it's all of them trying to work together to get him back up. And since all of them are trying to get him back up, they're all running around in all different directions. They get confused. Rather than him just dying right off the bat and relieving the pressure, just leave them knocked.
So again, guys, take a moment to look more clearly because I'm about to use these people as bait again, and you can clearly see how much their teammates are actually trying to help get these people up, not realizing that it's just all the stuff. This guy almost gets me. I don't know what kind of gun he had, but he almost turned on me real quick. So I'm just going to let them sit out there. They're both going to crawl into a corner, and I think they're going to survive, but little do they know, the germ donor is sitting up in the window, and he will strike when the chance comes. And here's the chance. And that is how you kill a squad with not much trouble at all. So this last guy, unfortunately, let me let me tell you guys another trick. See how I used that window against him. Now he knew I was on that side, but I just peeked in and peeked out real quick. That's the only tip I want to say: is just constantly stay peeking. Uh, don't don't stand in one place for too long. You know, if you want to shoot someone, peek out behind cover, shoot them a little bit, and peek back in cover if they know where you are at. If they don't know where you are at, take all the shots necessary. Uh, and we leave boot camp for a little bit. And we're going to come back because I hear some shots when I left. And there ends up being a whole team that comes here. And that's usually the case with boot camp. Usually a team or two will end up coming through it, you know, halfway through the game if it's still in the circle. So I, I definitely recommend landing boot camp if you want to get better at the game just because you're going to be constantly under pressure and you're going to have enemies all around you and you're just going to get better. I guess uh, you would say multi-enemy combat situations. Like, it's a big uh, mixture of words, but it works. And I take out these two people real quick. And uh, you know, another quick tip is that the M416 is really extremely accurate when you're using it on single fire. And in PUBG Mobile, you can tap these buttons so quick, almost quicker than you could click a mouse. You know, for some people, uh, like other people that try hard but you get what I'm saying so after killing those two people and coming over here I actually hear two more people and they're not part of the same squad because those people died instantly but uh, a quick tip for you guys if you're playing in third person do not just run upstairs just, and even if you're playing in first person if you hear somebody upstairs do not run up them you can see I go up the stairs to check to see what they're doing 
and I quickly run back down when I see that they're just running around up there like little ants. Uh, so my, my plan of action is to throw an aid up there, get them all twisted up, and then I'm going to go back and run up the opposite staircase because this one you, can, you have a little bit more cover from. And they're not going to know where I'm coming from, so I'm going to catch one of them off guard. He's down. And his buddy's you know, going crazy right now. Yeah, he's not. And he's got one more buddy. Actually, I don't know where the last guy went, to be honest with you. You saw him go down the stairs. I, I don't even know if I was paying attention to that in-game kind of strange but anyways after killing those four people we ended up leaving boot camp and we get down into the final circle and you can see my whole team is dead so it's just me versus uh, seven other people and we actually end up winning this game but I'll let you watch a little bit and give you some more tips here in a second So now that we're getting down to the final star crew, let me give you guys some quick tips if you're playing in the solo versus squad or even in a solo scenario in the final circle. Uh, my first tip is try and stay on, stay on the short side of the circle. Now I'm a guy that likes to hunt for kills so usually wherever gunfire is at I'm going to run to that area and try and find people. And you can see that there's people just crawling in the grass over here and I'm real good at spotting people like that. guy with the ghillie suit has some very effective crawling skills. I mean, look how good he is at crawling away. But little does he realize, he does not know where suppressed fire is coming from. And this is why you need to wear headphones. Because if he had headphones on, he would have easily heard where I was coming from. So, back to what I was saying. You're going to want to stay on the short side of the circle. And basically what that means is I'm on the big side of the circle right now. You see that side on the other side of the white side of the circle? That's the short side. You're going to want to stay on the side that has the least distance for the blue zone to come in. And that's just so that you don't have that many enemies behind you. Because, I mean, what are the odds a whole fucking squad's going to be sitting in the blue zone for two hours? They're just not that good. But it can happen. I mean, I've seen a lot of things happen in this game. And you can see these fucking snakes, man. I made a video about this, but these motherfuckers are just laying the grass on this map. And they don't understand how easy it is to see them if you're, you know, 100 meters away. But an another quick tip for final circle scenarios is always get the high ground. And you can see I get up on top of this mountain and it's not hard for me to finish this game off. Another quick tip for the final circle is always stay at full boost. Whatever you need to do, just always stay at full boost because if you're in the middle of a gunfight, that extra help for generating really helps. And so now we're going to look for the final guy. He finished off the last guy, so we're going to take a glance down and see what we see. And I'm going to again tell you guys why I do not fucking like snakes. This shit has gotten out of but anyways, I want to thank you guys yet again for checking out my video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more daily content.